What's up, YouTube? We're back in the shop today. SGR Tactical, Steven and Ben here. SIG P365 that Jessica did a video on yesterday. It was pretty good for her first video. Got a lot of likes and shares. We're going to do a cleaning video. And this is a really neat little pistol. If you saw Jessica's video, which I recommend you check out, um, this is smaller than the Glock 48 that we did a video on, which is very impressive. And the trigger on this is not like my HK or any of the other pistols I own. It's actually very short draw length and very light. It's, it's a nice carry pistol. So we'll go slow. This thing's got night sights. It's pretty sweet. We hope you enjoy our video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I was telling Steven that uh, if we get a thousand, uh, a thousand subscribers in the next seven days, I'll grow my facial hair out for a whole year. Let's see if we can make it happen then. Yeah, I, he didn't want to join that bus. I, his wife hit <laughs> Jessica would kill him. <laughs> anyway, we hope you enjoy. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and here we go. The cleaning is about to begin. Thank you for joining us. Please give us thumbs up and subscribe. If you would, share it on your social media. We enjoy that. If we get, a, if we hit a thousand subscribers in seven days, I'm going to grow my facial hair out for one year. In prior videos, you'll see what I look like with a beard. And that was only about four months. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. But here we go. We got the Sig Sauer P365 9mm. Textured grip. Night sights. Really nice looking pistol. Feels good. Gonna go ahead and make sure it's locked the slide back. I'm gonna look in there make sure there's no round in there. I'm gonna remove the magazine. Nice 10 round steel Sig Sauer. 9 millimeter mag it even has got the grip extended on the pinky extension i'm gonna set that off to the side and this thing is so strong i feel like i could just throw it like solid i like that okay so we got our clp our break free it's used in the military and worldwide law enforcement civilians it's an all-around good cleaning product the slide is locked back to disassemble the top slide we take the top slide key here and we push it down we grip the top slide push the slide release down hold pull right apart it's nice very simple it was not difficult some pistols are very difficult um especially if you're new to it so looks like jessica put quite a few rounds a couple there. hundred rounds through the other day we got a little bit of videos of it at the end there yeah i saw that she looks Last like video. she's a good shot she made her debut she did an unboxing on this video again um you can check our channel see her there she's the only female that we've ever had on our little show um remove the spring we just pull it up remove it the barrel lift up push forward pull out easy enough you got four components here very well built, not hard to disassemble. We've got our cleaning brush, our barrel brush, and our barrel swab holder. I'm going to start with the spring. I'm going to take my CLP and I'm going to put some on my brush. You could use an old toothbrush too, that's fine. Um, if you're going to want to save some money, you can go get a, a firm bristle toothbrush at like a dollar store and it'll you know cheap and we'll do the trick and we're gonna scrub we're scrubbing all this all this uh gunpowder residue off gunpowder residue is very corrosive i want to make sure that's good i'm gonna get the, the top here I'm gonna get the other side that goes against the barrel and then i'm gonna take my cotton t-shirt i'm gonna wipe it off That wasn't too bad. Um, where'd you shoot at? Silver bullet. Okay, that's where she bought the firearm <clears throat> yep, as well? Yep, yep. Those are Mother's Day gift? Yeah, the SIG was her Mother's Day gift. She picked it out. Wow, she... he's showing me up, huh? <sighs> uh, all right, so I'm wiping this down. I'm just going to set that off to the side. Now I'm going to go to the slide. I'm going to set the lower and the barrel off to the side. You can see grime here, more gunpowder residue whatnot we're gonna scrub every inch of this um sig is pretty cool because they actually mill 
uh, their upper receivers out. Uh, another company that does that is H and K, and it's just a stronger, well-built firearm. So I'm gonna take my CLP break free, put it on my brush here. I'm gonna hold the slide like this, and I'm gonna scrub. I can see the gunpowder residue, and I'm gonna scrub all this, and then I'm gonna turn the brush to the side and get in the the um the slides rails that hold the up the upper slide to the lower. The lower on this pistol is polymer, a well-built fiberglass reinforced polymer. The, the slide that, the guide that holds the upper to the lower is steel. So we're gonna scrub this. We're gonna hold it up like so. Now we can see our extractor here. We wanna make sure there's no dirt or grime. So we're using the small part and we're gonna scrub. And then we're gonna use the big part and scrub even more. See all how you see the lines here? I'm gonna take this uh, T-shirt and I'm gonna wipe that gunpowder residue right off of there. See how I got all that off there? Now you don't see the lines anymore. I can see some more gunpowder residue, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some more uh, CLP to my brush, and I'm going to lift it back up, and I'm going to scrub again. Now this is, uh, is this the first time it's been cleaned? Or well, we cleaned it right after we got it. Okay. She took it apart, did it herself. It was really simple, like you said. This is this is a very difficult gun to take apart. This is a quick clean lube, so we even shot it. Just put a couple hundred rounds through it, and that's good. Good, good, good. Now we're scrubbing the inside, both sides. We're gonna go ahead and scrub the outside. So we've pretty much scrubbed the entire top slide and it only took a few seconds. Um, I can see that the gunpowder residue is almost removed. So for this part, I'm going to take my t-shirt and the small end of the brush and I'm going to set the t-shirt over and I'm going to use the brush and the teat to apply pressure to the t-shirt to wipe all the residue out of the, the upper slide. So I did it on this side. I'm going to do the middle and the same for the, um, over here. It's a good way to actually pull the dirt out with the t-shirt because the brush won't just breaks the residue free so i've done that there now i'm going to set it on its side take my t-shirt with the brush again the small end i'm going to wrap it just like this and i'm going to use it to pull in this groove here all the grime out of the groove see now I can look in this groove, it's probably hard to see, um, and there's absolutely no grime left in this, in this groove. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take the t-shirt off, get a new spot, rewrap re the brush, and I'm gonna pull that all the way down and out. Got it, good. All right, same thing with up here. I'm going to take the small end of the brush, wrap it, I'm gonna pull any grime that might be where the back side of the round sits against the upper slide. So I've pulled all the dirt so far. Now for the front top part, I'm gonna wrap it again and I'm gonna grab all that dirt and grime off so that it stays on the t-shirt like so. For the outside where I scrubbed, I'm just gonna take my pieces of t-shirt I'm gonna make sure I wipe all the excess um, oil, CLP off. I like CLP, neutralizes the gunpowder, lubricates your pistol, keeps it clean. So that's what we got right there. Now for the front part, where, where the barrel, the end of the barrel is, I'm gonna take my little brush, I'm gonna wrap it in the t-shirt once again, and I'm going to just get all the dirt and grime off where the gunpowder comes out the, the end of the barrel. 
where the front of the spring sits. This side of the spring sits in here. I'm gonna take the small end of the brush. I'm gonna wrap it again, put it in there, and wipe the grime out. The grime sticks to the oil, the oil sticks to the t-shirt. So there we go. The top side is clean. I'm gonna take my CLP because I'm gonna pre-lube it. I'm gonna set it on its side. I'm gonna put a drop up front, a drop on the back. I'm gonna tilt it up, tilt it down so it's not gonna fall off when I flip to the other side. So I flip to the other side, drop in the back, drop in the front, tilt up, tilt down. This spreads the lubricant out. And I'm gonna put a, a drop just like that right there. If you put too much CLP on, what will happen is when you're carrying it, pocket lint will stick to the CLP. So I'll show you right here real quick. So if I put that much lube on there and I have some dust or whatnot, which I'm in my shop, so I got dust and I take the dust. Now, I don't know how well you can see it at home, but the dust sticks there. We don't want that. We want just enough to keep it lubricated functioning properly. So this is clean and lubed. I'm going to set it off to the side. So is the spring. I'm going to set that off to the side. I'm getting some oil here on my Excalibur knife. It's the 40 cal model I picked up from the silver bullet. It's an auto blade up, down, and when you do that, it doesn't actually penetrate. So it's not much of a self-defense weapon. Pull it out, push it away. I really like this. It's got a glass breaker. Just throwing a pitch out there. It's steel construction. I really like that. I'm going to use it to cut swabs off the t-shirt here. I'm going to go ahead and take my t-shirt. It's a 9 mil, so I don't need that much. But I'm going to cut swabs off so that I can run through the barrel. Sometimes, if you cut too big a patch, it's very hard to force through the barrel. So, here we go. I'm cutting my old t-shirt I used to be a gym rat for a while and got a lot of old sweat stained t-shirts around so they work really good the cotton holds the um the dirt and debris very well go ahead and put that there now i'm gonna go to the barrel so i've got my cleaning brush with my nine mil patch or scrub brush I'm going to put some CLP on this brush. I'm going to start on the end where the round would slide in. There's a feed ramp. I'm going to, I'm going to hold this very tight. And I'm going to go in and out. Okay. I have see uh, gunpowder residue on my, my brush. I'm going to take my other brush my military issued toothbrush <laughs> jk all right so i put some clp on my brush i'm gonna get the feed ramp see the round when it's in the magazine good example the round feeds up this ramp into the chamber i want to scrub and make sure this ramp is free of debris i'm going to scrub the whole face and all these little nook and crannies here and right here as well I'm going to scrub the side. This is a heck of a lot easier than cleaning a 1911. <laughs> <laughs> or an AR. A lot easier than AR. AR. I tend to go overboard, but I guess there's no such thing. Alright, so I've scrubbed the whole outside. I scrubbed the inside. I'm going to remove my patch. I'm going to take my patch I cut with my new knife I really like I'm gonna put it through just like this I'm gonna push it all the way in I'm gonna scrub it oh look at that look at all that all right I'm gonna grab another one I'm gonna do this until um, not much comes out not bad okay so pretty clean now for the, the last two, I'm gonna add these two together because I want more pressure going on the inside uh, rifling of the barrel. The rifling is the grooves that are in the barrel. 
you can see them when you look down. Uh, puts a twist on the round for more accuracy. I'm going to take some CLP. I'm going to put a drop on there. And I'm going to go up and down a couple times. Notice the patch is much cleaner. And I'm going to look down there and it's going to look brand new. And then I'm going to take what's left of my t-shirt here and I'm going to wipe off the excess. I will lubricate the barrel once I place it back together in the top slide. I'm going to set this off over here. Last but not least, we have the lower. So, I'm going to take my brush, my Break Free CLP, put some oil on there. I'm going to start in the grooves here. Scrubbing all that residue out, I'm going to flip it over. Do this groove here. I'm going to look in here. All these metal components, wherever I see dirt and debris, I'm going to go ahead and scrub. Um, Silver Bullet took care of you there pretty oh, well, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, all the questions. We did the 10 for 10. She shot the Hellcat, Hellcat, the Swingfield Hellcat, and the SIG P365. Instantly fell in love with the SIG, of course. So, she needed a smaller everyday carry gun. So, this is really cool, man. They, I know a bunch of those guys. I used to compete in the International Defensive Pistol Association with a couple of them. And I know management and the owner, they always treat people really good and they're very safe mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. all professional and knowledgeable. So, at this point, I've scrubbed quite a bit. I'm going to add just a little more of my um, CLP to my brush, go down in the mag well, and I'm going to scrub. Even though it's a polymer lower, I want to make sure I get all the dirt and debris, keep it clean for the best uh, function available. Now, up here, you'll notice there's a little metal piece and then an indent, and it goes around where this... Um, lock the slide lock is you just can scrub around that make sure it's real good and then i'm going to take my cotton t-shirt i'm going to wrap this big brush around there and i'm going to clean the mag well get all that extra clp and grime out of there um, make sure there's no pocket lint stuck in there I'm going to take my finger at this point in this t-shirt and I'm going to start wiping down all this dirt and debris. It's fairly easy. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did on the upper, but it's easier because the slide is on the outside. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to take it wrap the t-shirt around small into the brush and pull all the dirt and debris out i'm going to move the brush to a cleaner patch once again and pull until it comes out clean and i'm going to repeat that on the other side let's see here all right let me i'm going to take a closer look I need to get some better lighting for the shop here. I think I'm going to make Steven take care of that. But make Steven, work. make it work. We need better. All right, so. Hmm? All right. All right. The lower, I'm going to take my t-shirt, and I'm going to wipe around the outside. Make sure all that excess is off. And then I'm going to go into the reassembly. Now for the reassembly. The, the fi all components of the firearm are clean. Even my new knife from Excalibur, I got it the silver bullet, is <laughs> got its oil. I guess it's got a wipe down. I really like that knife. Anyway, so I'm gonna set the mag back off to the side. Now, for you at home, if this key, the disassembly key, goes up when it's disassembled, you'll be trying to force it to make it go down. You cannot do that. You will take your finger, you will push up on the slide lock, like so. Take your finger, push it down, hold, let go of slide lock, it'll stay. It's a big deal. Don't want to see anybody 
force it or grab pliers or do anything dumb that would damage the firearm because I'm pretty sure that would void out the manufacturer warranty. <laughs> so for reassembly, I've got the slide lubed. Just a review, I put CLP, the brake free oil on the slide in the center in the grooves. Now for the lower, there's enough oil on these upper on the upper to lubricate this, but inside the pistol i want to put a small very small amount on this the disassemble lock and a very small on the spring in the back this will help for functionality so we'll take the barrel i'm going to turn this around so you can see better at home i'm going to take my nice clean barrel my nice clean upper and i'm going to slide the barrel forward push back until it sits down if you notice as it's going back it'll drop down and you'll hear it make that noise now this larger black round part of the spring if you notice it's got this sleeve inside here that's larger than this this goes to the front of the pistol so I'm going to turn it just like this I'm going to place this down where it's held apply slight pressure back here and just set it down into a little half rounded notch simple enough now to reassemble the pistol it's lubricated it's clean it looks good i'm gonna go ahead there's a groove here and a groove here i'm gonna line this groove and this groove up with it back oh no it won't go back what could be wrong that sarcasm, I'm gonna show you because this will be frustrating and you don't wanna break the pistol. I'm gonna pull the slide back forward, turn the pistol here. There is a little stopper here. I hope you can see it at home. I'm gonna take my brush and I will push it down. Now it's out of the way. So, now that it'll go all the way back, I'm going to push it back, grip here, push it all the way to the rear, push slide lock up, take the disassemble key, push it forward. Now I can push it back, release, it's assembled, squeeze the trigger, it functions. Cool. So this thing feels amazing in my hand, but I don't want it to slip out of my hand. So I'm going to take and wipe all the excess oil off the exterior of the pistol especially where these grooves are designed to give you better grip when you're charging the pistol or reloading the pistol. Wipe the excess oil. Cool. So I'm going to take the mag. Boom. I'm going to, it's, when the magazine is in, it's very hard to use a slide lock to get the slide to close. So I'll just take some pressure off. Push the slide lock down. Bam. It is clean. It is amazing. This is a beautiful little pistol. If you've never seen one before, once you grip it, you're going to like it. Jessica is lucky that Steven hooked her up for Mother's Day. She's a great mom to little the little man. So, there you go. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Those little issues with the reassembly, I'm, I was happy to be able to put that in the video for you because it can be frustrating if you're not familiar with your pistol. Remember to always read your owner's manual and have a great day. What's up, YouTube? What's up? What's up, YouTube? Did it, did it, did it. I didn't hear it. It did. It. <laughs> you, you <heard> it? <laughs> yes, I heard it. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's a cold day in Michigan here. It's allergy season. It's cold as fuck. Is it recording? Yeah. It is recording? Yeah.